Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time. Come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking Again. I'm Fritz, guys, and I reckon it's Wednesday, and I reckon it's time for another Working Wednesday, y'all. And, guys, this video series is dedicated to all those hard-working women and hard-working men out there, guys. And what we're trying to do is get y'all a nutritious and delicious meal together in less than an hour, guys. I know y'all don't feel like cooking when you get home. I'm here to tell you, guys, I've just came up with a wonderful recipe here, guys, and everybody in my family loves it. And uh, I'm sure, you know, I grew up in the 70s and 80s, and we ate a lot of Hamburger Helper, guys. This ain't the regular Hamburger Helper, guys. This ain't no, uh, got no uh, bunch of uh, chemical ingredients in it, guys. This is my simple, easy recipe, and I guarantee it. I guarantee everybody's going to love it, if they like mushrooms. But uh, anyway, guys, what's going to make this so simple and easy is I buy my ground beef in bulk, guys, and I'll make like uh, hamburger patties and I'll freeze them back. And uh, what I'll actually do as well is I'll brown off some ground beef. I do it like in a, uh, roughly about a pound size. And uh, you know me and my food saver, guys. I always uh, shrink wrap back stuff. And you, you see that a lot on our Working Wednesday videos, guys. But what we're going to do is we're going to simply take some of uh, our ground beef, roughly about a pound. Now, this is all the ingredients in this, and I promise you it's going to be delicious. What you're going to need to do is get some uh, Campbell's cream of celery. And guys, I love Campbell's. I, they've never let me down, so I'm sure you could probably use something else, but I'm here to tell you, catch some Campbell's on sale and you'll be able to rock. Guys, this is what makes it right here. That golden mushroom. I'm here to tell you that stuff is to die for. I love it. And I love mushrooms so much, guys. I'm going to go ahead and add a, a can of these uh, uh, mushroom pieces and stems, guys. Uh, we're actually going to be utilizing some, uh, some egg noodles here. This is roughly about two cups, guys. And it, it's going to be that simple. We're going to top it with a little bit of cheese, maybe some sour cream. And I've got some uh, uh, peas and carrots going here, guys. And uh, it's a one-pot uh, one pot cook guys and I'm here to tell you it's a piece of cake especially if you already have your uh, ground beef ground but uh, let's not even dilly dally guys let's go ahead and get started here I'm gonna get, go ahead and get my ground beef into my hot pot here and I'm here to tell you guys if you'll freeze this stuff back man you, you can make anything you, you got your tacos going whatever you want they call for ground beef How easy is this, guys? Let me kick this heat back just a little bit. And you don't even have to like boil off your noodles, man. You just, well, I'll show you, I'll show you. All right, guys, and like I said, I didn't season this ground beef, but um, the, the, the Campbell's and everything is just chock full of seasoning. So let's go on and get this down into the mix. We got our cream of celery, one can of cream of celery. All right, guys, how simple is that? All right, what we're going to do is give it a simple stir. Yeah, I had a lot of people on Facebook ask me, because yeah, I, I cooked this the other night, and I posted it on Facebook, and a lot of them said, man, we're going to try that. How, uh, would you cook it up for us, Fritz? And I'm like, sure, man, I'd be glad to. And that's like I'm saying. If any of y'all want to see me cook anything, just let me know. Um, Sherry, I'm going to do your onion rings. It, it might be a minute, but I promise you I'll get to it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, this is the key ingredient. This is what makes it. So let's go ahead and get our golden mushroom on down in there. I'm here to tell you this stuff. Man, it's so good. It's rich and delicious. All right, guys. Look, look, look how quick this is, man. This, there's nothing to it. Get that all incorporated in there, too. Get that all good and stirred up. Look at that, guys. Yum diddly yum. Say it with me. That's next level yummy. Heck yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and introduce our mushrooms. And you can drain them a little bit. I mean, the water ain't gonna hurt nothing. I drained most of it off. So let's go ahead and get that in there. We're almost done. The, the longest part of this is just letting it simmer, getting them noodles done. But this stuff too, like hamburger helper and chili, I always loved eating that the next day. Like your, your potato salad, just seems like all those flavors just get in there real good, marry together. 
Just makes it makes it pure ambrosia, y'all. I'm talking taste treat extravaganza. All right, guys. Now let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce my noodles here. I said this is roughly about two cups. Look at how easy that was. Wham! We're almost done. All right, guys. I'm going to kind of stir this up a bit. Just like so. And this takes roughly about 20, 20 to 25 minutes. And like I said, I like making like, uh, I'll make this like a day before or something and I'll eat it the next night, you know. I'm here to tell you. I'm actually thinking, I'm gonna freeze some of this back for y'all and, and, and show it to you. I'll shrink wrap it back. I'll make a big old batch of it. Everybody loves it. All right guys, we got to have some water in there to, uh, kind of get the noodles going there and I've got roughly about a cup and a half here and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this thing back up to a boil like so and then what I'll do is I'll get a cover on it and then we're just going to let it let it do its thing and get them noodles all tender and and let those uh those soups marry together with that ground beef man I'm here to tell you it's going to be luscious lusciousness guys come on how easy is this now this is a true working Wednesday, man. I'm here to tell you, we're done. I, I mean, I'm done cooking. That's it. All I'm gonna be doing is shredding up some cheese and I'll go ahead and get my peas over here. Let's get this started. I went ahead and greased up my, uh, I greased up my little uh, pot here with some uh, spray pan. And we're just gonna let those, look how easy that was. Bam, we're good to go. Now I'm just gonna let them dudes simmer away. We're gonna bring this back up to a boil. That shouldn't take very long. Get it boiling in here a little bit. All right, guys, I like to multitask. Uh, while we're letting that come up to the bowl, which it's at right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just merely uh, shred up some uh, cheddar here, some sharp, some super sharp cheddar, and uh, get it going. And guys, I, I love cheddar cheese on it, and I love just a little bit of sour cream. I'm hoping we got some. But uh, anyway, guys, like I was saying before, I love to like shred my cheese, guys. and uh, those, those, I mean, it's fine to buy those packets. I'm not bashing those packets of cheese, but heck, man, look how, it didn't take me very long at all, man, and I guarantee I got me a packet of that cheese in just about a minute, and uh, it saves you a ton of money doing it this way. And, like I said, if you get you a vacuum sealer, you can just take that puppy, set it all up in there, and I'm here to tell you, it'll last forever, you know, or quite some time, but <laughs> not forever, but, uh, Anyway, guys, I don't know why I'm just so excited today. But let's go ahead and hit that, and we're going to get that back in the refrigerator. We're sealed. Go time. All right, guys, let me get over here and get my implement and give this a little bit of a stir, like so. And now we're just going to cut back the heat. Cut back the heat and we're gonna let them flavors marry together, guys. That's it. That is it. Now she's just gonna do her thing. But you wanna do give it a little stir. And I actually did spray this uh, pot as well with some Pam in, or you know, a lot of times stuff will stick on the bottom. But I got that heat uh, kicked back and, and we're just gonna let her simmer away on, on low there and it'll be good to go. I think the next time we're gonna see y'all is gonna be at the dinner table. Okay, let's take a real quick peek again. Look at that. Yum, diddly yum. All right, guys, we'll meet you at the table. All right, y'all. All right, guys, check that out now. Oh, ho, oh, 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 oh. Mona me. All right, guys, look at that lusciousness. Yeah, boy. There are peas. Go time, y'all. Let's get busy. All right, guys, we got our delicious working Wednesday over to the table. Guys, we got Fritz's Hamburger Helper, and I'm here to tell you that stuff is delicious, and it's probably one of the easiest recipes that you're going to get together. I guarantee it, guys. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, 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 carrots and peas. Got some sour cream, some cheese, and just like old school, guys, just like back when we was kids. Got some white bread. We're going to put a little butter on there, and it's going to be go time. All right, guys, let's All right, get guys, to it. All right, guys, it up. Take a peek at that. Doesn't that just bring back memories? 
man on man. Got mom uh, plated up as well. I'm gonna give it a little try there, mom, see what you think. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hot. Is it hot? Is it good? That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad I came up with that little recipe. I'm here to tell you guys. Look at that. Even got my little butter uh, bread cut in half like that, man. Mm -mm -mm. I'm here to tell you. This brings back memories. I love this stuff, guys. I think we ate it at least, what, once a week, didn't we? Sometimes. Mm. Oh, my God. Guys, I promise y'all, I give you my word, you know, if you like mushrooms, I give you my word you're going to love this. It's it's out of this world. It, uh, you know, it doesn't have all that dry mix. It's just that those two cans of soup, guys, and some mushrooms. And I'm here to tell you that flavor of that soup just gets all up in that, that oh, it's like, it's like permeated the noodles, if you understand what I'm saying. You can just taste it in every bite, can't you? Mm. 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 God, dog, oh, guys. Look at there, look at there. And I didn't put any salt and pepper in it either. Mm. My goodness. You're better than a box. Oh, yeah. No stinking box here. All right, guys, we've got a little bit of uh, peas and, uh, and carrots. Doesn't that bring back today? You better eat them peas and carrots, or you can go to bed. <laughs> I remember that. I remember trying to hide eat. This is how to do mine. I'd, I'd be like, yes. Oh, yeah. I, oh, those, those are good. It's funny how you wouldn't eat some, you know, a lot of stuff I wouldn't eat. And I'll tell on myself here, guys. I mean, meatloaf is delicious, and uh, I don't know what it was, man. You know, I loved hamburgers, and all meatloaf is is a really souped-up hamburger. Man, I would run from that stuff. I'd, I'd act like I didn't hear them when they'd call me home, for, you know, hollering out the door, come on in. But, guys, I'm here to tell you this is delicious, and I just want to say thank you so very much for coming by on my working Wednesdays and my in my uh, uh, cooking tips and household hints on Friday and in my cooks on Sunday man I, I'm enjoying myself I'm having a blast and uh, I'm hoping to get you something up good for the uh, maybe we'll do another hint I mean last last Friday we did that cream spinach so maybe we'll do another hint maybe we'll do something around the house here but uh, I'm not sure yet we'll come up with something but anyway guys thank you so very very much and I reckon we're gonna holler at y'all soon Bye.